Hello everyone, you are watching How to Help Persecuted Christians. Did you know that Christians are persecuted around the world? According to the Voice of the Martyrs 2015 I Commit to Pray map, there are, by my count, about 39 countries in which some Christian activities are illegal or restricted, like owning a Bible or gathering together. And there are about 14 countries besides these in which persecution is a common occurrence. Persecution You may be thinking, what is persecution? In some countries, only churches with a state-issued license may erect a church building or gather for worship. Many times, applications for these licenses are ignored, and sometimes those who have applied were arrested instead of getting a license. Even if a church receives a license, there have been times licenses have been revoked without any explanation. In some countries, Bibles are illegal. They can be illegal to have, to print, or to import and export. Any law which restricts any of these activities, owning, printing, or importing and exporting Bibles, is designed specifically to remove Bibles from these countries or greatly restrict access to them. In some countries, Christians are regularly rejected as potential employees because of their faith, and sometimes unfairly lose their jobs because of false allegations against them. In some countries, Christian churches have been bombed, raided, or burned because they are Christian. In some countries, those who become Christians are at times beaten, at times locked in rooms, attics, or cellars and starved, and at times killed because of their faith. Sometimes this persecution is carried out by family members, neighbors, or co-workers. In some countries, Christians are charged with erroneous charges, like drug smuggling or conspiracy against the state, and then imprisoned, or are imprisoned with no charges at all. What can we do? The first thing we can do for these people is pray. We can pray for their strength, for their protection, for their faithfulness to Jesus Christ, for their effectiveness in the things God has called them to do, and for them to be filled with peace despite the things happening to them. The other actions we can take on their behalf depend on their situation. If they are imprisoned, we might be able to write to them or to officials in their country on their behalf. If they need assistance, we might be able to help them through several Christian nonprofit organizations. How can we do this? PrisonerAlert.com Here you can write to Christians who are imprisoned because of their faith. You can find the addresses to write to these prisoners, and also the addresses to write to government officials in their country. Note, please do not be negative about the prisoner's country or government in your letters. It could be dangerous for the prisoner. Persecution.com Here you can sign up for a free Voice of the Martyrs newsletter to help you stay up to date on what's going on around the world concerning Christian persecution. This way you will know what you can pray for. Note, if you live somewhere other than the United States, there may be a Voice of the Martyrs website specifically for your country that you should visit instead. RunMinistries.org Here you can support the refugee camps supported by Run Ministries, which are filled with thousands of Iraqi refugees because of the extreme persecution in Iraq. Whatever you decide to do, just know that Christians in these countries are thankful for the support of their brothers and sisters in Christ.
You may be surprised to hear this, but some of them, even in prison, are actually praying for us. Note, look in the description box below this video for links to the websites I've mentioned. You will also find phone numbers and postal addresses for those of you who would prefer to contact these organizations on the phone or through the mail. If you found this video informative, why not consider subscribing to my channel on YouTube and sharing this video on social media? Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching everyone.